Hello, and welcome to our March In Touch Forum. We welcome you uh, today and have um, an exciting topic uh, about expanding distribution opportunities. We know that our customers are always looking for ways to reach more of their guests and customers and to increase visibility. And so that's um, what we're speaking about today. And we have um, Marie Ainsworth, um, our product manager. Um, Marie has become a regular contributor, and we appreciate uh, that, uh, telling you about what we're doing um, on behalf of our hotels to expand uh, distribution opportunities and what things you can take advantage of as well to um, get more visibility. So Marie, I'm going to turn it over. Um, you. Thank you, Pam. And thank you, everyone, who is joining us today. We appreciate your time and uh, hope that you find this uh, InTouch forum to be useful. We wanted to talk to you today, as Pam said, about opportunities to expand distribution that are either on the horizon um, or available today. You can go ahead and change it, Pam. Thank you. The first one that we'll be speaking about is HBSI. Um, as you know, we're continually looking at ways to expand the distribution opportunities that we provide you. And in such, we have partnered with HBSI, which is an acronym for Hotel Booking Solutions, Inc., to provide connectivity to merchant travel sites around the world that we might not otherwise be able to offer you. And some of those are represented here on the screen. We've made it possible through an interface between our Windsurfer CRS and HBSI to provide a seamless, instant transmission of your availability, rates, and inventory to these sites. And I will note that the sites that are shown on the screen are just a very small representation of those that we will be working with. So the benefits to you are many. You have placement on these new distribution travel sites. Real-time rates and availability eliminate the need for you to manage an extranet. And reservations flow seamlessly through ResMatrix. And if you have a PMS interface, down to your PMS. Now, the most exciting part about the HBSI connection for you is access to new distribution channels, or as HBSI calls them, demand partners. Booking.com is targeted as the first site that we will connect to, and we are working with them to integrate their processes within the current OTA processes you are familiar with so that this will be as painless as possible for you. So while you'll have the opportunity to reach new customers, the processes will be essentially the same as you follow today with your account manager for connectivity to the OTAs. And we've reached out to them already to discuss how all of this will work so that when the interface is complete, which is expected to be in the May timeframe, we can begin offering the benefits to you right away. Now, you may ask why we chose Booking.com as our first connection point, and that's a very good question. Booking.com is the number one OTA in the world, attracting over 30 million unique visitors each month and booking over 150,000 room nights every day. Their global distribution to 4,000 affiliate websites gives you access to new international customers and your hotel content is translated into 41 languages at no additional cost to you to help support that global reach. Let's look at their primary markets. Booking.com receives reservations from over 200 different countries each month. But here's a glimpse of their top 10 source countries with the top five being Canada, France, Brazil, the UK, and Germany. 
a nice benefit to your bottom line is that many of these travelers coming from these countries have longer vacation seasons than U.S. travelers, which equate to a longer length of stay for your property. We look forward to this connectivity coming, and we'll share more information as we get closer to actual implementation. So in addition to providing you with new channels of distribution, we have also improved the distribution of rates for our booking engine customers to over 200 destination websites through a partnership with Jackrabbit Systems. Some of you may already work with these destination sites, and while InLink doesn't facilitate the relationships, our interface with Jackrabbit makes the display of rates on these sites more timely and accurate. When you identify a Jackrabbit site in your area, you can distribute rates to them through ResMatrix. And on this next slide, you'll see an, an example of a site that Jackrabbit works with. Notice the rate that is displayed of the $79.99 and the Book Direct button. The rate is pulled directly from ResMatrix based on what is channeled to Jackrabbit, and the Book Direct button takes the user to your BBE to actually complete the reservation processes. It's important to note that once on the BBE, the user will have access to all available rates for your property. Okay, Google Maps. I think everyone's been reading the press surrounding Google's recent ability to provide a hotel's price, availability, and booking links to hotel searches on Google Maps. The buzz has produced varying opinions throughout the industry, but the general consensus does seem to be that it's important to be represented here. If you flip to the next slide, Pam, We'll have a view of the Google Maps for those of you who may not have um, gone out there and played with this yet. Um, Google has mentioned and noted that this new feature will not change the way that hotels are ranked in Google Maps. That will continue to be based on the relevance of the search terms entered and the geographic distance and a variety of other factors. Um, to give you an idea of how it works, if a user would type in New York Hotels on Google Maps, it will bring up a map with pins for the various hotel locations, as you see here. Alongside on the left-hand side is the list of hotels with the prices. If a user clicks on the arrow next to the price, as we've done here in this screen cap, you'll see a pull-down box that shows the prices for that hotel on the various OTAs, and also currently in last placement is the link to the property's website directly. Now Google states they are currently working with a number of partners to allow users to click through and begin the booking process. And they're also working to expand partnerships and explore ways to allow individual hotels to easily share updated price and availability information. We are in the midst of reaching out to Google to understand how we may work with them to increase your hotel's visibility and participation in this new program, and we'll keep you closely apprised of any new developments. A recommendation that we can make right now um, is that you register your hotel with Google Places so that you will be listed on Google Maps for your area. It's easy and free. All you need to do is go to www.google.com slash places and follow the steps to register your hotel. Once you are registered, you'll have the um, ability to access and update your information, which includes the ability to add a reservations link for a nominal monthly fee. That would be an outstanding way to have the consumers that are finding Google Maps come directly to uh, your BBE to process their reservations. Now this is something that you must do directly with Google Maps um, so that you have ownership of the username and login information. So this is not something that InLink can do on your behalf. 
that sums up the distribution opportunities that we're highly focused on um, at this time. And we are very excited about all of them. And we'll continue to keep you all closely posted as new um, information is available to share. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Marie. I've been um, watching. If you have any questions, you can use the question or the chat function um, to send those in. Uh, but we've got um, a lot of work going on. Um, and as we move forward with HBSI um, and find more about Google, we'll continue to share uh, in this important um, capability to expand your distribution. Um, next month, our In Touch Forum is on April 19th. And uh, we'll be talking about social media and the ability to add Facebook links, or booking links, I should say, to your Facebook um, pages and your hotel Facebook participation, as well as using some of the direct links um, available in ResMatrix on social media um, places besides just Facebook. So I'll be uh, sharing uh, with you at th that point. And um, again, look forward to um, any questions or comments that, um, oh, wait a minute. I do have a question here um, from um, about one res, which is an existing district um, uh, uh a distri additional distribution that um, has been using and have they started uh, providing services. So one res, um, you may recall, was um, a service that uh, connects to Travelport and shows the qualified um, small business or qualified um, uh, minority-owned business on a uh, travel port. And they have had some delays um, in completing that connection through travel port. Uh, so it's been a few weeks since I checked on it. Um, and at th that time, they were not processing reservations, but they did uh, sign in-link customers up for free for that service and have extended that. So um, let me get some additional information on OneRes, get that out to your account managers, and we'll send it to uh, the people on call to make sure that I get you the most current um, information available on um, OneRes as a result of this call. So thank you for that question. Um, and that's the only one that I see. Um, and uh, thanks for the kind words back. So, um, anyhow, so next month we'll be talking about some of the social media capabilities, using links to your booking engine on um, social media, and some of the ways that you can expand um, the reach of your booking engine. Um, to Facebook and other social media connections. So we look forward to talking to you at that point in time. And um, you have a great day. Thanks.